In this tutorial, we're looking at the new version of Bitwig Studio 8-Track. Bitwig Studio is an excellent DAW that is great for performance, jamming and overall production. Its cleverly designed workspace incorporates both clip launching and more traditional timeline arrangement alongside hybrid tracks and excellent integrated modulation. The 8-Track version has some limitations, including only 8 tracks, but still includes most of the main features. What's more, an 8-track license provides a discounted upgrade path to other versions of Bitwig Studio. To demonstrate, let's start with a template project. From the dashboard quick start panel, we've loaded up performance set. Starting in the launcher panel, you'll see each clip has a play icon and each empty slot and clip a stop icon. Over on the left hand side, you can see the clip parameters in the inspector. Try selecting, playing and stopping a few clips at a time. In our template project, the clips have been grouped into scenes. These vertical groups of clips can be triggered collectively using the scene playback controls at the top and stopped using the stop icon just to the left. If you want to create a new scene, simply click on the plus icon in the scene bar. You can then populate your scene with existing clips or create new ones. To create a totally new clip, you can either import a pattern by selecting the plus icon or record into the clip by arming the track and selecting its record icon. Having created various clips and scenes, you may want to create a timeline arrangement. There are two main ways we can do this. The most obvious is simply to drag over clips or scenes. Here we've used three scenes and you can see how the arranger clip lengths are based on the launcher clip lengths. The other option is to select the main transport play and record and trigger the clips or scenes in real time, recording them as a performance into the timeline. Now to continue working in the timeline, select the Switch Playback to Arranger icon in the top bar. So far we've focused on only MIDI clips and onboard instruments, but of course Bitwig also handles audio, and does so in both the Launcher and Arranger workspaces. To do this, create an audio track using the Add menu at the top, you can then load launcher audio clips using the plus icon or record audio in both launcher slots and arranger tracks. An important and powerful aspect of Bitwig is its integrated or unified modulation system, which allows easy modulation of device parameters. Modulation options include envelopes, macros and LFOs. In version 5, you can now modulate not just device parameters, but also mixer and project elements. Here we've opened the device panel and selected the project device and used the plus icon to load up an LFO. To demonstrate, we've set the LFO to quarter note sync and ramp down. Switching over to mix view, we can now see all the faders. Now if we select its arrow to start assigning a target, you can see the mixer elements become available. And we've applied the modulator to the polysynth track pan. 